Welcome guys, Drask here. Today we are learning about Process Lasso. Process Lasso allows you to optimize your CPU in real time and it helps a tremendous amount on any video game that is very heavy in CPU. So for example, Star Citizen, but it does work in other games like Hogwarts Legacy and any other game that you're having a hard time. I highly recommend using this free application. Now it does come with the caveat that it's either have to agree to a nagging message every single time you restart your computer or you can donate a little bit to the project in order to fund it. So to give you a little bit of a breakdown, they have a download for free or they have the Purchase Pro. Basically the Pro is just sort of to support the project and they won't sit there and nag you every time you restart your computer. If you're curious about what the nagging is, I'll actually show you here in a second. On Star Citizen, for example, my CPU went from about a 95% usage all the way down to 60%. With everything else staying the exact same, same overclock, same everything else, just using this one application. Here, all you have to do is click download for free. You know, download in the top corner here. Now, for anyone curious, now this is only if you have the free version that you'll have this little pop-up here. Process Lasso is the result of a vision for better performing PCs. Basically, this is going to be encouraging your PC to run at the most optimum settings. So you have Purchase Now, Activate License, or Continue. So if you click Purchase Now, Pro for the single PCs, this is going to be 248, 1248, or 1998 for a lifetime membership. And it's also 50% for Black Friday in case anyone's wanting to upgrade to the Pro. All right, so now that we have Process Lasso pulled off, you can see 100% responsiveness, 17% memory load, and 15% process use. You'll notice scrolling through that I do have some stuff that's going to be automatically set to below normal, normal, and high. High is going to be mostly what the computer sets predetermined. However, you're able to manually set it as well. And this application basically just closes out programs that are running in the background that you don't actually need to function at the current time. So let me load up Star Citizen real quick. Now this one is going to be a little bit different to where you're going to want to have your launcher loaded. You're going to do the settings and then you're going to have to close out the game. So as soon as you load your program here, if you click active processes, you'll notice that the RSI launcher is now in our list and I have it set to high. So if I right click on it, see CPU priority, do current or always. Always is going to have it set every single time. Current is just if you want to do it temporarily and you don't want it to actually save. All right, so underneath always, I have it set to high and your affinity, once again, you want this always, and this is where you want to disable hyper-threading. For Star Citizen example, it runs better with this off. So you want CPU 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So once you disable hyper-threading, well, you'll see over here in the affinity setting that it'll tell you the exact number that we just read out. And you are good to go in the launcher. I recommend closing out your launcher after you set that. Now this is where I would just double check and go inside your task manager. So you have the Robert Space Industry Launcher, so you want to close that out. This works for all games, you don't have to just do it for Star Citizen. Now if your game doesn't have a launcher, you can skip that step since you don't have to set the launcher to high. Now we launch your game, then you want to scroll down and you want to look for your EXE file. That's going to be where your Star Citizen is going to be read. And once again, you want to have your affinity set and you also want to make sure it's on high priority class. So do CPU priority always, set this up to high. In your affinity, you want this always, and once again, you can either have hyperthreading disabled or keep it enabled. For some reason, I found the launcher is better to have disabled and the regular version just keep it on. So you'll notice that all 11 are checkmarked now. If we disable it and go back inside, you notice now that the other ones are unselected. Both should work, you're just going to play around with your system settings. But this is how I get a i7-8700K to run Star Citizen. Also games like Hogwarts Legacy. All right, now a general comparison. This is with Process Lasso set to just normal processing without anything special. You notice that our CPU is running at about 98%. It does dip down sometimes to like 70%. Basically, we use this application though to take these numbers from the 80 to 99% all the way down to the 60 to 70% without changing anything else inside of our computer. So let's go ahead and restart the game itself and I'll show you guys the difference now. Alright, so now that we're inside the game, you'll notice that our process use is going between like 70 to 85. That's so much better than staying between the 80 and 99 percentile. That way you're fully able to run your system without it being super bogged down. I just want to show this little glimpse on what the difference in the application is. That way you guys can see for yourself that it actually does help tremendously when it comes to playing. This is loaded in the exact same spot in the exact same conditions with nothing actually changed on our system except for this one application set to having on high priority and disabled hyper threading. Now you don't need to just do this for gaming, it also works in other things. 
But the cool thing is it sort of monitors the rest of your PC for you and it will automatically close out processes in the background that you don't need at the current time. If this guide helps you get better performance in your games or in just your PC in general, please let me know down in the description down below. I'll see you guys in the next one and hopefully you guys are able to run everything much smoother now.